Father's bond. Straight out to Natalie Jackson, the attorney for the family of shooting victim Trayvon Martin. Natalie, thank you for joining us tonight. What do you make and what do you, does the Martin family make of this stunning new development? Well, I think that, um, well, we think that Angela Corey did the absolute right thing. The foundation of our judicial system is based on witnesses telling the truth. So this is a message not only in this case, but to all cases that when you come into a courtroom, you must tell the truth. And the American justice system, they depend on that. Michelle Suscarer, criminal defense attorney out of West Palm Beach. Do you agree this was fair? Well, I, I think that they definitely have it out for this family. I, you know, these are the prosecutors don't really charge people with perjury too often, but they are really gunning for this family, and the pun is definitely not intended. So they, they, they are after George Zimmerman. They're after Shelley. I mean, what are they going to gain from this? Uh, I, I just don't know. This is a third-degree felony. She's not going to go to prison for this. I don't think that this was necessary. Wow. Okay. Mark Iglars, criminal defense attorney. Uh, you've heard both sides now. What say you? I disagree with my dear friend, Michelle Suscauer. You know, being in the criminal justice system for 20 years, I've seen how miscarriages of justice take place when people lie. And, you know, if you let it go by, in spite of clear, what appears to be clear, overwhelming evidence of perjury, then what you're saying is it's okay. Anyone can do it. Let it go. And I think that it needs to send a message to other people that there are severe consequences when you come into court and lie.